Hello everyone, this is Salam Abbas, a university instructor from Al Muthanna University. I'm going to be with you in this grammar course that is devoted for the third grade in the Department of English. In this course, we are going to be concerned with different elements of sentence and different grammatical rules. I hope that you get advantage of this course and be joyful for you. So our lecture today is going to start with the parts of a sentence or one of the classifications of the sentence. We can classify the sentence into a subject and a predicate. The subject is what is being discussed or the theme of the sentence, while the predicate is what is said about a subject. So from this classification, we could understand that we divide the sentence into uh, a subject that represents the topic of the sentence and uh, the predicate that, represent the, that represents the uh, idea that is said about the topic or theme or subject. Another important um, terminology that we could use here is what we call it as operator. So let us see the relationship between the operator, auxiliary, and the predication. The predicate is classified into number one, an auxiliary as operator, number two, predication. We mean by the operator is that it is the auxiliary verb that we require it to perform um, negative process as well as uh, interrogative process. So when we change the sentence into the negative form or interrogative form, we are in need of this operator. This particular division of a sentence help us to understand, for example, how interrogative and negative sentences are formed and how certain types of emphasis are achieved. So, as we said earlier, when we have a negative sentence, we are going to have an operator and when we have interrogative sentence also we we could see the operator and sometimes when we emphasize a sentence um, also we uh, see the operator so let us have a close look about the operator the operator it is the first auxiliary in the sentence so if we have more than one auxiliary verb the first one is considered as the operator. So it is the first auxiliary in the sentence that is required in equations and negative sentences. So what distinguishes the operator from the rest of auxiliaries? The answer is very easy and simple. If we have more than one auxiliary verb, we said the first one is the operator. So, if we take this example here, I have been reading a story. Now, the first auxiliary in this sentence is the verb have. So, as we mentioned in the rule, have is the operator of the sentence. So what does that mean? This means that when I want to make this sentence as negative, for example, the negation word not is attached with have rather than any other auxiliary. So if I change this sentence into negative, it became I have not been reading a story. And if I make it a question, have I been reading a story or have you been reading a story? 
So we move the verb have before the subject in this sentence. So it is the operator. Now, if we uh, take the verb been, it is also an auxiliary verb. So both been and have are auxiliaries. But can we say, I have been not reading a story? The answer is no. Why? Because been is not the operator here. Have is the operator. And also we cannot say, been I have reading a story? Of course, we cannot say this because being here is not the operator. The same is uh, for the next example. You must have been reading a story. In this example, must is the operator because it is the first auxiliary in this sentence. So we cannot, we can say, you must not have been reading a story or must you have been reading a story? But I cannot consider have in this example as the operator because it is the second auxiliary in the sentence. So if I say you must have not been reading a story, this sentence going to be wrong because have is not the operator in this sentence. And also we cannot say, have you must been reading a story? This sentence also became wrong because also have is not the operator in the sentence. So the operator should be an auxiliary, but not all the auxiliaries are operators. So, in this um, shape, we summarize our classification of a sentence. So, we said before that the sentence is classified into a subject and a predicate. The subject is the theme or the topic of the sentence. And the predicate is what is said about this uh, topic. And also the predicate is classified into an auxiliary as operator. And we said that the operator, we require that element, especially in interrogative sentence and negative sentence. And also um, the predicate uh, classified into a predication, which is the rest of what is said about the subject. Now, we have the range of operators. The verb expression may have several auxiliaries. We mentioned that before, that sometimes we have more than one auxiliary verb in the sentence. For example, he should have been questioned by the police. So in this example, we have three auxiliary verbs, should, have, and been. So, in such cases, it is the first auxiliary that acts as operator. So, in this example, should is going to be the operator in the sentence. And this means when I want to make it a question, I'm going to move should before the subject. And when I want to make this sentence as negative, I'm going to add not for the verb should not for any other auxiliary verb in the sentence. Do as operator. Where the verb expression has no auxiliary in the positive declarative sentence, as we know, in present simple and past simple sentences, uh, we don't have an auxiliary verb if the sentence is positive. So, in such case, when we want to make such sentences as um, negative or a question, we get the verb do, um, 
we mean by the verb do as its three forms do, does, did and we use them as the operator in the sentence. For example, it rained steadily all day. So if I want to make a question, I'm going to say, did it rain steadily all day? And if I want to make it as negative sentence, I could say, no, it didn't. So if we have more than one auxiliary verb in the sentence, we are going to take the first auxiliary as the operator. And if we don't have um, an auxiliary verb in the positive declarative sentence, uh, if we have a simple present sentence or a past simple sentence, we are going to take the verb do uh, or does or did, of course, the group of the verb do. And we use them as the operator in the sentence, as we see here in these examples. Uh, we move to uh, using the verb be as the operator. The verb be can act as operator, whether it is an auxiliary, as in John is searching the room. So here we have the verb is came as an auxiliary verb. Its function is to be auxiliary, helping the verb searching, which is the main verb here. So we use this auxiliary as the operator. For example, is John searching the room? And if we have the verb be as the main verb, we also could use it as an operator in the sentence. For example, the girl is now a student. If we look at this sentence, we have only one verb in this sentence. That is the verb is. So it is used here as a main verb. However, uh, we could use it as an operator. So it is a main verb here as function, not form. It is also auxiliary by form. But it functions here as a main verb. However, we could use it as an uh, operator in the sentence. So I could say, is the girl now a student? Uh, thank you very much. I hope that you get my point here and see you in the next lecture. Bye.